Hey guys, Jeremy here for The Armory Life. Now how do you take one of the coolest guns in history and make it even cooler? By making it just a little bit quieter. Now the M1A SOCOM is one of my favorite rifles. And me personally, I like to suppress everything. So I started thinking, how possible is it to suppress the M1A? I know that it does not really have an interchangeable muzzle device, and I know that there is not an adjustable gas system within these rifles from the factory. So I started going down the Google train, and lo and behold, there are companies that make products exactly for this task. So let's first talk about the challenges that we have to overcome. We first needed to find an adapter that allows us to put a suppressor even on the gun. We also needed to find a way to tone down that gas so that we're not doing unnecessary wear and tear and overgassing the system. And last but not least, we needed to find a really rad can that could hold up to this and give us that nice sound reduction and very minimal POI shift that we're going for. So some of the products I ended up going with to accomplish this task would be number one, the muzzle thread adapter from Delta P Designs. Now they have created an extremely high quality muzzle adapter for the family of M1A rifles. The M1A SOCOM muzzle thread adapter uses two separate components and registers directly onto the barrel threads and thread shoulder. This ensures proper alignment. Now once installed and aligned, a set screw is used to positively retain the adapter. These are made in the USA from hardened billet material and they are the real deal. Additionally, for the task of regulating that gas, I went with the Schuster Manufacturing Adjustable Gas Plug for the M1A SOCOM. Now this is a super easy install, replacing the factory gas plug, it just threads right on, and then you use an Allen wrench to slowly and precisely adjust the amount of gas in the system. Now installing these items was an absolute breeze. They both came with directions that were very, very simple to follow. So once we had those on, now all we had to do was thread the can on. For the suppressor, I went with a Rex Silentium MG10, and that is a 308 suppressor. The MG10 is a gorgeous tubeless design, precision CNC machine from 100% 17-4P stainless steel. It's fully welded, then hardened to the max. The MG10 boasts a hardness of 45-47 RC, and tensile strength of 190,000 PSI. Safe to say, I think the suppressor is well up to the task. Now one really important thing to note when suppressing any firearm is to absolutely check the bore alignment. So to check the bore alignment, you need a special rod designed specifically for the caliber of that firearm that you are suppressing. In our case, we used a Geisley 308 suppressor alignment gauge. First, you wanna make sure the firearm is clear and unloaded. You thread your suppressor on, and then you slide the alignment rod down into the barrel, making sure that the rod is in the center. If the alignment rod is leaning kind of one direction or the other, you can tell that you might not have proper alignment, and that could lead to a baffle strike, which could send your can, your very expensive suppressor, down range on the first shot. That's not a good thing. So it's very important that you always check the bore alignment when suppressing a new firearm and before you're putting rounds down range for the first time. Now onto the testing. For the first few shots, the gas was set to a little bit too low, which is how the Schuster manufacturing plug comes. From there, we just continued to dial up the gas little by little until we started cycling. Now, it was really quite simple putting this all together and getting it to run smoothly and reliably. Now, so far, the only downside that I have found to suppressing the M1A is a little bit of the gas to the face because it's an open top design. But if you have an optic mount that goes over the top of the chamber with an optic on it, I think it'll mitigate a lot of that. Now with the Rex Silentium MG10, I was super happy with the tone and the sound that I was getting from the M1A. And I'm happy to say that it did not hurt my ears. There was no ringing at all. It was actually quite pleasant to shoot. I really love to see the M1A family of rifles still getting a lot of awesome aftermarket support to kind of bring these rifles more into the modern age. Now, if you're looking to suppress your M1A, check out the links in this article, and I hope they help.